Hi everybody and welcome or welcome back to this channel. Today we are visiting Nook's Isle, which is the beautiful creation of Jen and you might know her as ACNH underscore Nook's Isle on Instagram. She is an incredibly kind member of the community who always cheers others on and has the greatest um, advice and is just incredibly talented. She also does beautiful, beautiful presets, um, which I'm actually using on my Instagram. So definitely go ahead and check her out. And let's go ahead and tour this beautiful island. There she is standing there welcoming us. Before we say welcome back, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look um, at her map. Nope, that's not our map, that is. <laughs> So let's look at um, at her residence. She has Blair, very cute, Marshall, Diana, Fauna, Nan, Eunice, Molly, Eric, Doby, and Shep. A lot of really, really cool uh, villagers. And um, she also has a very nice stylized uh, map on her Instagram, which I'm actually using today to kind of give you a better insight on the different areas that she has created. Um, Let's go ahead and say hi. And she has some presents. That's so cute. Thank you so much. I would like to love uh, to use the love reaction or emotion. I don't have that yet though, which I really that's really sad. But let's go ahead and check out what she gave us. That's so kind. Um we have oh my god we have maple leaves oh my god best gifts ever <laughs> I actually don't have um my island set to fall so these are like awesome presents Thank you so much That's so amazing All right let's go ahead and check out her island So I've actually been to her island before um, and I, I remember this entrance because it's, in my opinion, it's super unique because it, it does have cliffs and it does look like a cottagecore island, but it's also quite open and it, there are like a lot of different paths that you can choose, um, which I really like. It like gives you um, all the freedom when exploring her island. All right. Um, let's go. Okay, so it looks like we're heading to the Able Sisters. Let's change perspective. Oh, that's so cute. The little setup with the loom and a little sewing machine. Abel's is ready for spooky season. Yeah, that's right. I visited her island before, but she didn't have any of the like pumpkins or spooky items. <laughs> and um, so I haven't seen a lot of what this is, but this is so, so cute. I love the pumpkin like right in front of the window. So let's go ahead and see where she leads us next. I really like having the creators kind of give us a tour around their island because, you know, they know best kind of where or what they want to do first and like in what order they want to show us all this. So we have a little post office next to the resident services. Awesome. Really awesome. I love these. I see them all around and I'm always like a little jealous and I feel like it's so fitting with um, the resident services. Oh, look up. Oh, the moon. Oh my God, that's so cool. That's so cool. And our little mushroom flag. Hold on, do we see it from this side too? No, but that's so cool. I really like that. I like having things in like, um, in like the background that you need to change the angle for. It just adds so many like, cute details and then this is hold on who lives here is this Eunice oh yeah so this is like Eunice's island she just moved in oh my god that's so exciting yeah I saw a picture on Instagram um of her which I thought was super super cute <laughs> I love that when that happens yeah let's go on so cute Gnome Island, hop. Okay, I'm hopping, hold on. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. So they're doing like their little work. I really love when people include these um, to like do some chores or just work on their island. I think it is so adorable. And then she gave them like a special island in the middle is just the cutest thing ever. 
Also, I love all the like autumn um, and like fall things going on here. The trees and the different colors and just the mushrooms all around. And it looks like we're having, like we're heading to, yeah, the Friendsgiving, the Friendsgiving kitchen as she called it on her map. Oh, that's so cute. Let's lie down. I like lying down when eating. <laughs> But this is so, so cute. It's also, I think I haven't ever seen um, this idea before, like having a Friendsgiving and like this long table. I think it's a really good idea, especially with that, like um, with that table in the middle. That is, I think, I think that's like a wedding item. Um, so, so cute. And then we have the little kitchen, it looks like. Um, so this is where you cook the meal. This is where you eat the meal. You will probably find me more like over here enjoying cake and all the delicious things. So cool. Oh, does she want to sit down with us? No. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and explore more. So cool. Yeah, she also uh, announced on Instagram that she's going to be flattening her island soon. So, you know, you can probably expect a lot more where all this came from. And this looks like a bug study. Oh, that's so cool. I, I think Eric would love this. I'm betting like Eric spends a lot of his time here. That's so cute. All right. Next up, let's go follow her. Let's not uh, be too hasty. Some mushrooms, I always, uh, mushrooms, no, pumpkins, some uh, pumpkins. And I love the simplicity of this like little beach walk here with all the kind of um, weeds that she has going on. It, it, it's very simple, but it looks so nice. I bet that you could take beautiful pictures in these weeds too. And this like, also this will probably look very different depending on like what time you're in right now. So it's like a changing part of, of her island. Oh, and it looks like we're heading to a laundry spot. Lots of laundry, that's so cute. <laughs> also, I'll try to put some codes that she's using in the description box down below, but she also has um, a little highlight on her Instagram page with all the codes. So definitely, like I said, definitely go ahead and check her out. She has the most beautiful pictures all the time. And this might be well, this is a fauna, but I think that's Diana's house. And like I said, Diana the diva, <laughs> living by the beach. That's quite fitting, I think. She only wanted white, oh yeah. You know, because she has to match. White pumpkins, oh, a monochromatic queen. That's <laughs> so cute. Yeah, so she probably like planted some pumpkins and then sorted all the ones she didn't like out. That seems very fitting, but she is so cute. So pretty, all right. Oh, and we're back to the entrance. See, this is um, this is like a place you could go right from the entrance, which I think is so nice. And we just went like in a little circle. And I think if I had uh, done like a dream tour, I probably would have gone this way first. So I really like that she chose like a different way. Oh, nooks, okay, perfect. Also, the arch, so cool. I like how she like decorated every single bit of the island with pumpkins. It makes it seem so like, I don't know. Nook has all the <laughs> pumpkins, yay. And all the candy too, very important. You know, Halloween is gonna happen soon. But that's awesome that she placed it so close to the entrance. Oh, I like the train set in the autumn version. I really love that. And I love the pathing too. It's very, it's very um, fitting for fall. And then over here by the beach, we have a little hangout area, again, with some beautiful designs, design codes um, and some pumpkins. Oh yeah, beach hangout. I love that. And I love this um, marshmallow like campfire. I just think it's one of the prettiest things, especially for fall. It's, I mean, can it get any cozier? All right, so nice. It's such a cool spot for the nooks, um, for nooks cranny. Oh, and this is frozen treats and coffee. So cool, I love these. This is probably like a winter item, right? With the frozen stuff. Frozen treats and coffee, that's so cool. And the maple leaves, which she gifted to us. I can't quite believe that. Can I sit? Nope, can I not sit? 
Oh, now I can sit. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, I think this spot for nooks is awesome because it's so easily accessible, but also so unique. Like I haven't seen a lot of people place them here, but if people come over and they want to sell, sell like turnips or something like that, it's really nice. I love the mushroom items that she's placed like everywhere. Even these like dropped items. I think that's so cute. All right, moving on. She has this little um, bench right here so you can chill out. Also a beautiful picture spot. And I see Nan <laughs> walking around, I think in the pumpkin patch and orchard um, part. <laughs> She's in the way. Get out of the way, Nan. Oh, this is her apple orchard. Oh, I love this so much. This also for me has some like Friendsgiving, where am I? Oh, Friendsgiving vibes because it, with the long table in the middle, does Nan want to join us? Oh, come on. Oh, it's cider season, my favorite season. But that's really cool. I remember at the beginning when everyone started doing orchards and just placed trees in like straight lines, but this is, is so different, you know, with like the, the table in the middle where you can eat the freshly picked fruit or obviously enjoy some cider and just have the greatest time with a lot of friends. Okay, let's move on. Also, by the way, how she incorporated the standees is awesome. I've never been such a fan of those, but she has done a great job at that. And here we have a little pumpkin patch. Blair's farm. Oh, I love Blair. I'm still looking for her, so I'm a little bit jealous. And she has planted the best stuff around here. She's probably super proud of this, I can imagine. Yeah, she must love gardening. And I love um, I love her house too. It's so cute. So nice and like lightly colored. All right, where to next? Oh, I've always, I'm the worst at like walking slowly. <laughs> it's so hard. I always like tr like run for a little bit and then I slow down again. All right, so we're back to the beach. Although on the other side of this river, some more pumpkins. And then the bonsai table, one of my favorite items. Oh, and this is the Mush Records. This is like a record label. I love this so much. And I love the color combination. I think that um, the like green and yellow is <laughs> Mush Records. I love that. She has labeled this as um, Mush Records on her app, on her map as well. And I, I love this. And the colors are so nicely put together. And, and like they make this area look great in the fall time right now because of the yellow, but also with the green, it's gonna look great in summer as well. All right, we're walking to the right now. I see a piano and this must then be, oh, that's la that's the lavender farm. I think Nan lives here and the, oh, we're heading this way first. Oh, this is the proposal spot. I can't propose. I'm gonna try to do it this way. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I, I didn't know that was gonna break. I didn't know she was gonna break the heart. No. <laughs> Wait, where's my crying thing? Oh no, that's sneezing. That's not what I wanted to do. But I mean, it happens. All right, let me get out of the way so we can move on. All right, so this is Nan's Lavender Farm. I love this. I have seen this a few times on Instagram and I love the purple. It's, it works so, so well with her, with her house, like with the dark uh, color of her house. So I think this is absolutely beautiful. Oh, she's asleep. Good night. <laughs> Imagine the pictures that you could take here. Let me just, that is the beautiful, most beautiful thing. I need to get a picture later on. All right, let's go. We're moving to the back. There's a little glimpse of the beach over there. Very cute. And then I see a white house with more beautiful details. Also, I'm, I should do a counter at, like how many times I say um, beautiful. Oh, that's Marshall because he's the lighthouse, um, the lighthouse keeper. Oh, 
that's really cute. I kind of love that the house is white and that Marshall is white and then the Lightroom is white. It just works together so well, even though that's like a detail that <laughs> wouldn't be necessary, you know, but it just makes everything so much better. Oh, and I love this. There's like a little lookout spot right here. That's so cute. Oh, and I see a, a graveyard. Oh, that's creepy. Is that creepy? It might be creepy. We'll see, but I love this. All right, I'm ready to see more. Let's go. Oh, I love how she does these like very small pathways. It makes everything look so much larger, I feel like. It makes the island, like, it feels like there's so much space on this island and she's used every little bit of it. Oh, this might be the museum, right? Like a little fossil area where people like work. The museum, that's cool. I like this little like uh, research area right here. All right, let's take a look up. Exciting, I always love how people decorate their museum because there's so many different items. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my God, do you see that in the back? The fossils on the right and on the left? That's so cool. And the jail bars, everything works so, so well. And it looks like an extended entrance with the, um, with the jail bars and everything. Oh, and also, can I just point out how smartly done this is with this one? Like the bridge has a width of two but then the museum has one of three, but she's made it look like it's so well aligned, I feel like, that you don't even notice it. Like that's the smartest thing ever. That's so awesome. All right, let's go ahead and follow her over here. The Park of the Misfit Statues. Oh, wow. Like the, like, are those like fake statues? I love that. Olive Blathers, Rejects, oh my God. I love that so much. I love that so much. Like everybody tries to make their outside seem pretty and like part of the museum. She just put the misfits here. I love that. Oh yeah, this one, for example, has the tongue peeking out, which I think the original doesn't. That's so amazing. And then this was, it's probably gonna be her rock garden. <gasps> Yay, oh, and the present. I love that she showed on Instagram that there was um, a balloon and the present landed like right in the center. And I mean, that's gotta be fate. She has to keep this here forever. In my opinion, she has to keep this even on the new island. <laughs> but I love how the stones tie in with like the statues as well. It's so, so cool. I really love this. And then you can like look right here and you have, ooh, I see a stargazing area. That's so amazing. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's follow her and explore more. See, again, I'm, I'm the worst at walking slow. <laughs> I really apologize. It's like I'm leaping forward once in a while. Just, I, I can't control myself, you know? Like, I'm too excited, I guess. <laughs> My character is too excited to see everything. All right, let's go back. Here's Marshall again, the lighthouse keeper. Still, I love the whites going on. I love that. And she, like, she uses different colors and different items that I would, like, I would never think to put certain stuff down the way she does. Like, the all the whites together and like, I don't know, I just, it's so cool the way she uses items. Hold on, where's she? Oh, there she is. <laughs> all right, back to her little bonsai table over here. <gasps> Eric, my baby, oh my God. The saddest thing though, he's not gonna recognize me. He's not gonna know me, even though we're best friends. You just don't know. All right, so this is, oh, this is Dobie, right? Oh, and Blair, Dobie sees that, oh my God. Also the song, wow. Busy area today, yeah. Everybody seems to love this area and they're right to do so. Blair is here, we have some more pretty pumpkins. His um, house is also very nice. Like the colors are super unique, like very dark green, I think. I love this. I, he must be a very happy grandpa, I'm very sure of that. And then we have a little pier. Oh, 
Oh my god, you can keep up correspondence. That's where we write. Okay, what do we write? <laughs> oh my god, that's so brilliant. Oh, and she put the little bottle on the on the barrel as well to like tie in that entire thing. That's so pretty. Also, by the way, definitely stick around to the end of the video because I actually asked Jen a few questions that she answered for me about like her Animal Crossing game and about her island. And I think they're super interesting. So definitely, definitely stick around. We have a seaside mush spa. Oh yes, I wanna sleep right here. Hold on, let me, let me go ahead and get my sleeping, my dozing reaction. So calming. That's the best idea, you know, with the sound of the waves. I bet it's super calming. I bet this is where all your villagers like come in and relax. Oh, and these are some like runes. Some runes. Oh my god. It's like I know. <laughs> it's like I know. So amazing. Also, again, like that's an idea I would have never thought about. We have a little gnome painting something. Oh, how pretty. Look at that, a resident artist. Oh, he is talented, might I say. Okay, and next up, there is a graveyard. Can I get my, like the wind blowing? What is that called? Cold chill. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> so cool. I wonder who died though. Oh, I. I kind of don't want to know either, so... <laughs> a candle. Again, part of the ruins, maybe? So cool. Like, cottage. It looks like cottage ruins. Yeah, this is awesome. I like, too, as, like, it's, it's next to these tiers. Like, I think that's the museum, right? Yeah, that's the museum. And so it makes sense that this would be like that these would be ruins and that this would be kind of abandoned because no one really has access to this, you know? Okay, we're moving on to the little stargazing spot, I believe, or like a sleepover. Stargazing slumber party. Oh my god, let's go! Let's go and take a nap right here. That's so pretty. And the painting too. Like everything is always so well thought of and so beautiful. I bet that um, when Celeste is here, she loves to hang out here too. And I bet that it would be so, so pretty to have just a night of uh, shooting stars right here. That's so cute, okay. I wonder where we go next because we're like at the very end of her map. So do we go back? Yeah, we go back, okay, perfect. Can go a little quicker through the ruins. Let's squeeze through here and continue on. Yeah, but she has, um, Jen also has an Etsy shop, which I will absolutely link down below with some very beautiful presets and Instagram story highlights, I believe. Um, and she is super talented. She is really incredibly talented. But like I said, she's also so, so kind and always like pays attention to the entire community and, um, Hi Blair, I'll see you soon. And always gives the best advice too. And also I wanna say thank you because she was super patient with me as I was like trying to figure out this entire island tour and like visit thing because this is the first one I'm doing, which is so cool. Like this is always gonna be a special island tour, you know, because it was my first. Shep the horse farmer. Oh, this looks like a horse farm too with all the hay and then the, the fencing that she's used. A little horsey. Yay! Oh, I love this. I love how they wobble. That's so cute. Okay. Hold on. I need to check that out. Oh, that's why he washes his clothes. Oh, that's so brilliant. Because, you know, after, after a day of riding, you know, he needs to clean up a bit, too. And chill out right here. This is where he takes a little nap because he's exhausted. And always she does like a good, a great job at doing, at like putting certain items uh, on different levels. So it always looks uh, for, oh, mind the ducks. Oh, that's so cute. So that it always looks great from different angles. So 
Why aren't the dogs? Hi, ducky. All right. <laughs> I hope I didn't disturb them too much, but they're so cute. Oh my God, there is a campsite villager. Oh, I kind of want to check out who that is. So this is her campsite. I love, I love this entrance and this little like bug right here. Oh my God. I need to check that out. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh my God, it's Bones. Oh my God, you're so lucky. <gasps> you're so cute. So, so cute. I bet that he loves it here just as much as I am right now. And let's take a look around the campsite. So it looks like there's a little fishing spot right here. So cute. And then there is a little spot for your clothes. And then we have a campfire. So, so necessary for a campsite, always, always. And then, like I said, I love this entrance. It's, it's very cute. Okay, let's go ahead. After seeing Bones, let's go ahead and follow her. And see where she leads us next. Again, such cute pathways. I cannot believe. Oh my god, what is this? My blue and white inventory. Oh wow, I love this. I love sorry dump rock <laughs> but it you made it look so pretty i can't believe it i mean white and blue with a lighthouse by the sea can it get any like any better i mean I, it probably can oh i think we're heading to like my favorite spot and i see her house oh yes this is my favorite spot yay oh my god this is my favorite spot i saw this the ducks have taken over I saw this when I visited her island about like a month ago and because Red never comes. <laughs> oh my God. I love this so, so much. Um, and this was my favorite, my favorite spot. I actually took a picture in this place. Um, if I find it, I'll put it up on the screen because I love this so, so much. So we have a little duck beach. There's no red, there's no like pirate items, nothing like that. The ducks have taken over. You know, but it's true, like he never comes, so that's that's not that's not weird. <laughs> okay. I'm still jealous that you have bones, by the way. I never get any cute visitors by the campsite. Okay, so we're heading up I think to her house now. Oh and I love look at this little painter the painting spot. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this must be her house. Oh, weird flex, but I love it. Very nice little farm. And, um, mi casa. Awesome. That's so, so cool. All right, we're going to check it out. Uh, she told me that I should do it by myself because her house is quite full, but we're definitely going to take a look at it. Oh, wow. Okay, the color coordination, though is killing me. I mean in a good way, in the best way. Like the greens and like yellows, but like muted yellows, and then all the sunflower items. So pretty. So, so pretty. Um, I, like there's, I feel like I should say more, but also I think you guys see how amazing all this is. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and check out the next room. Oh. Oh my God, I love this wallpaper with the trees that kind of move when you move the camera. Do you see that? I love this, but I've never been able to make it work. And she does it just so, so effortlessly. Of course she does it. So this is her little kitchen. I love the like rustic look too with, oh, I can't get through here. Um, I love the rustic look with that oven, that brick oven so so nice and again like a uh, very pretty color scheme going on with like a muted blue or blackish gray <laughs> and then the browns and reds very nice oh have you ever seen a cozier bathroom wow 
but the shower is running. You're wasting water. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fix that real quick. You know, saving saving the environment. But I love the little like uh, stall that she's created or the little like shower cabin. Do you call it that? I don't know. <laughs> but the little like uh, the simple panels that she that she's used as like a partition. I really like that. And I am living for these colors. I might just, um, you know, I might just get some inspiration from this actually. I love it a lot. Oh my god! I know I should polish my vocabulary. I feel like this is, I'm being so lame in what I'm saying. But how, how do you come up with this? Like using, oh, and the sound, I like that. Uh, using the like pirate items or not even the pirate items. It's, I mean, it's just the wallpaper, but this looks like, like the inside of a ship in the best way, in the absolute best way. And again, such cohesive colors. Wow. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I, I um, love this basement because it looks so close to mine, kind of. I, I like use the same wallpaper and the same flooring, um, but I've never had this idea of putting the wreaths up there. That is so smart with the DIY bench right here. That is so cool. And it looks like it's it's kind of, um, there's like a little clothing area right here where you can wash your clothes. I'm just gonna do that for you real quick. Um, and then, yeah, just some like storage over here. That's really nice. Of course, also beautiful. Again, color coordinated, very like light colors, a lot of white and some greens and like yellows and like light blues. And it looks like the wallpaper has been made for this room. Or, you know, she, she did everything after putting down the wallpaper. That could also be possible. But super pretty. This is definitely a place to go and unwind after a long day. Play a bit of the piano, you know, sleep, dress, read a book. Really, really, really pretty. All right, let's go outside again. <laughs> she fell asleep. I am back. It was so pretty, let me tell you. All right, let's go and follow her and see more. I feel like we've already seen so, so much, but also I feel like there's so much more to see. And like I said, she's she's about to flatten this island, so she's about to rebuild something completely new, completely fresh and beautiful. Another little pumpkin patch, which I love, and a little, um, you know, DIY area in the back, it seems like. All right. And then we are heading on to, um, I think, like Eric's or, oh no. Oh, I see bamboo. Oh, then this, this must be like this secret, yeah, secret bamboo spa. I saw this um, in my, in my island uh, tour, like in my dream tour. So pretty. Oh, I see, I see something to lie down. I must. I must go and lie down and enjoy the the sea and the breeze. Oh wow, so peaceful. Also with the maple leaves, I'm obsessed. So pretty. All right, but you know, you can't stay in a spa forever, even though you would love to. And I'm sure that there's more to see. Also again, like such pretty colors with the whites and the greens. Let's pa let her pass so we can follow. All right, going back up to her house and then probably going down or probably to that like little painting um, spot or painting area. Yeah, but I love the like this area too. She probably writes uh, more letters. Um, and then over here I saw this little painting area. Again, like I'm obsessed with the idea of putting down that little moss ball and then putting it on a painting as well. That is so brilliant. All right. Oh God, I gotta work on my slow sw slow walking skills. <laughs> oh, a little tea party. Oh, so pretty. I love that design code too. And it blends in, or well, blends in might be the wrong word, but it looks so pretty with the fall colors. So cool. 
And I love the music too. I, I love when, when music, oh, a cinema. I love when music is used to kind of create a vibe. Oh, and it's busy already. Look at that. Look at the, look at the gnome and the bear and the dog. Cinema. And again, there's such a pretty view in the back too, you know? With a few friends. Oh, that's so pretty. That is really such a cute idea. Yay. Okay. Let's go ahead and follow. Wow. But I love the, I love the path. I, I gotta say this again. Um, it's so, so beautiful in this season. All right. So, oh, this must be Fauna's house, I think. Can we go? Yes, it's Fauna's house. Nice. And she has also decorated for, um, for, for like pumpkin, Fauna's house and tea, uh, for like fall and for tea party. Nice. She is decorated with a lot of pumpkins too and probably loves to have guests over. Okay, uh, we can, I don't know where you wanna go. Nice. Very, very cute. Oh, a little fishing area again. You're, oh my God, imagine a villager just sitting down here. That is precious. Oh, let's change the camera angle again. Oh, okay, to the right first. And again, oh, green mums. That's pretty. And again, like a little pathway. Oh, CJ is here today. Hi, CJ. Excuse me. Wow, there's so many exciting things going on. Like campsite villager, C CJ is here. Oh, is this Eric? This is, this looks like Eric's house. Oh, oh, Molly. Oh, then Molly, Molly is probably, like, it might be a shade lighter. Molly has, oh, hi, Molly, little baby. Um, Molly has the best decorations, yeah. She, I think, that, that's what I was gonna say. I think she loves to make a fuss about different like uh, seasons and really changing everything up. So I can imagine that she, look at the skeleton in the back. Gosh, Molly is the cutest. I think she is just so, so cute. She always wants to make everything seem so, so pretty and cute, I'm sure. Oh yeah, then this must be Eric. Yeah, it's like slightly different, slightly darker. So pretty. Oh my gosh. And then again, oh, <laughs> Eric is not the tidiest person that appears. That seems very fitting though. That seems very fitting. And then just imagine him like in this little spot, relaxing. Oh, I love it. I'm obsessed with Eric. You might know this. And again, another like fishing area. Look at this. That's amazing. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go back down and go to the next beautiful area. The green mums here are so brilliant too. And also she uses a lot of the scattered items like the wasp um, thing and then acorns and pine cones and stuff. And oh, this was another one of my favorite spots on her island. Apart from the, the little duck beach, um, she has this like gold mine right here, which is, yeah, the gold mine. Oh, I wonder what's inside. Interesting, interesting costume. Jack. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like that. Gold comes from flowers. Oh my God. That's brilliant. Yeah, this is, um, amazing. Like again, so well thought of and, um, just very unique too. Like I haven't seen this. And this was one of my favorite spots right here. The secret library. You kind of have to squeeze through here, but then you see this beautiful library, which in my opinion has an awesome size, like it's not too small. Oh, this is so, so pretty. It's not too small, but it's also not too big to like stand out too much or take up too much room and not be a secret library anymore. Um, and I love, I love the location too, that you see the, you see the, the, the sea in the background a bit, you know? But then like the squeezing through here makes it so cool. 
Okay. Oh, walking again. <laughs> Walking into a tree, you know, that's a talent of mine. Slow walking, not so much. Ooh. Oh, this must be Jack's Hond. I saw this, I'm scared. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get my, I gotta get my reactions ready, you know. Jack's Hond, a lot of pumpkin things. Oh my God. And I see that item. I have no idea what it's called, but it gives me the, the creepiest Frankenstein vibes, but like creepiest and best at the same time. Okay. Ooh, and the carriage. Let me get this. <laughs> so amazing. And again, an area that I have not seen before. I've not seen this before and oh oh my god what's gonna happen oh my god <laughs> that was just the outfit oh my god she has the reaction too this is too much for me I'm overwhelmed <laughs> so cool but this is just the this is the outfit that we just saw over by the gold mine which I think is quite cute that I discovered it so so nice and I love I don't know if, if I if I finished my thought, but I love the color, um, the colors going on here, like the orange and the purple. It's so, so nice. So pretty. And I love the little wand she gave me. I've never, that's all of Nook's Isle. Oh my God. That was so, 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 so pretty. Also clapping one-handed and still making that sound is not very realistic, <laughs> but that was so, so amazing. Thank you so, so much for letting me come over and showing your island. And thank you so, so much for taking the time and giving us this uh, tour. It was so lovely. I also sent Jen some ACNH related questions up front, so definitely stick around for those answers now. The first thing I always like to ask is how long have people been playing this game? Because it gives me kind of an idea of what um, events they got to experience. And so Jen has actually started right when the game first came out in March. She describes her own theme as whimsical wooded farmland, and she said that the river kind of in the middle of the island divides it into two halves, whereas the front contains all the farms, and then the back is kind of the forest area. And the whimsical aspects, as we saw, uh, come from creating like little moments that will just make you smile, like the gnome island that we hopped onto, or all the bears that she has participating in island activities. When she first started the game, she had kind of a neighborhood theme, but then discovered all the YouTube island tours and fell in love with the cottage core theme, as I think a lot of people did, me included. And uh, so she decided to do a complete overhaul. And when I asked her where she gets her inspiration from, she said that there are a few places on her island that are inspired by other creators or uh, certain trends that have been going around, like the lavender farm or the cinema that we saw. But overall, she just likes to get items and the landscaping itself to inspire her. And then she picks a bunch of items that she likes, puts them in a certain areas and just plays around with it. And she says that that's the fun of the game, which I wholeheartedly agree with. I also like to know how people come up with their island name and if there is a special story behind the flag they chose. And her answer kind of surprised me because she said that her island name, in her opinion, is super lame and she wishes that she could rename it. Whereas I actually think that Nook's Isle is quite a cute name. But she said that she wasn't really on Instagram when she first started and so she didn't know what people were naming their islands and so she didn't know that there were like cute names going around and she kind of just thought it was clever using Nook's Isle because, you know, he uh, runs the show. But now she wishes that she could change it simply because it has nothing to do with her theme. Once again though, I think it's quite cute. I think it's quite a unique name and it's kind of iconic by now. And as for her flag, she just said that she found it searching the Abel's machine, which is totally valid. That just means that you picked a flag you really like, which I absolutely love. And the next question, I just like to kind of ask about special areas, like a favorite area, one that has been like redone a bunch of times, or just uh, an area that they want to share something about. 
And she said that her favorite area is Blair's farm and that orchard area that we saw, like basically pretty much in the center of the island. And she says that that area just makes her happy to look at, which I love. And I can definitely agree with that. All the reds, especially now in fall, just make it a really cozy and safe space. Um, and that's definitely something to enjoy. And then she also said that she loves her little farms that she's created, like Nan's lavender farm that we saw, or Shep's horse paddock with the little wobbling horses. And she also stated that she just likes her villagers to have very distinct setups, which we definitely saw. I mean, Dobie had his own spot by the sea, and then we saw Diana's little like diva farm, and I love that. I mean, it definitely transports just how much love and dedication you put into this and how important um, your villagers are to you, which I think should ever be forgotten. I mean, they make the game what it is, essentially. A question I like to torture people with is what their favorite items are, because that's one I struggle with all the time. And her answer was the wild log bench, the mush stool, the butterfly models, and any of the standees. Of course, absolute essential question, who is your favorite villager, or is there anyone you love but you're still looking for? And Jen answered that Nan really grew on her. She used to immediately say Molly, and she also said that Molly's probably forever going to be her girl, but for some reason, and I love this, Nan really speaks to her southern soul, which I, I don't know, I think that's so, so cute. Another question I think is super, super interesting, and I think that a lot of people can agree on, is what quality of life updates would you love to have in Animal Crossing New Horizons? And her answer is pretty on point. She says, let us order multiple Nook Mile tickets. Let us craft out of our house inventory. Let us order more than five items per day. I could keep listing, but these would be so incredibly helpful. I mean, yes, yes, and yes, definitely. And then last but not least, I like to just have an open question that allows the creators to just say anything about themselves or about their island or anything else that they would just like to share. And her answer was, I love being a part of this community. For the most part, everyone I have connected with is so kind and giving, and the creativity just blows me away. And I think those are the perfect words to end this video. Definitely check out ACNH underscore Nook's Isle on Instagram and give Jen lots and lots of love. And also subscribe to my channel because there are definitely going to be more exciting island tours happening in the future. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.